to my channel Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video I am going to be sharing with you the things that have sold to make me over $1,400 or make us I should say over $1,400. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, offer up Craigslist anywhere I can to make a profit and that uh, enables us to be full-time resellers. So if you haven't already, go over there and hit subscribe for the channel if you enjoy videos about what's selling, how to increase your income, thrift garage sale hauls and ride-alongs, what we're buying and selling, etc., etc. If that's the kind of stuff that you're interested in learning about, this is the channel for you, so go hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested, also follow us over on Instagram, Texas Gal Treasures. And uh, let's get started with what's sold lately. So all of these things ended up selling for over $1,400. And those are just our online sales. We also had some local sales that I just didn't add in here. I should start adding those. First up, we've got these nail dashes. These are red Aspen nail dashes, and they sold for $20. These I got from using points for other sales on the site. Next up is this pinback of William Jennings Bryan. This is a replica pinback that sold for $8. I got this in that big tub full of pinback buttons that I bought for $25 at a garage sale. It's made a lot of money, even though a lot of the sales have been smaller ones. It's bought, brought in hundreds of dollars already. Next up, I got this at a garage sale recently. It's a, a little watering spike that goes into a plant. Uh, it sold for $15, and I got this and a bunch of other things similar to this and little plant decorations for about a dollar for the whole lot of them. So this sold, and it actually was damaged, so I was surprised it sold so quickly. Next up is a National Lampoon's magazine that sold. We got this in that big lot of uh, comics and magazines that we bought for $65, I believe, and there were well over 500 magazines and comics there. This sold for $10, and we've already made our money back on that, that haul for sure. And we still have tons that we haven't even listed. The next item that sold is this vintage Florentine jewelry trinket box. It had some chips and nicks, but I only spent, I believe, 2 or $3 on this. And this sold for $28. I This is one that I held on to for a little bit longer. I've had it for maybe a couple months that it's been up, but um, it's, it's sold. I enjoy selling trinket boxes and jewelry boxes. They seem to do pretty well. Next up, I sold these faceted lucite acrylic uh, grape clusters. So I bought them at a garage sale for, I don't even know how much, because we just had a big bundle of stuff. And you'll see I, I sold a number of them here. But I had a big bundle of things that I got from this garage, so I think I spent $20 on everything. So, I mean, maybe 50 cents to a dollar on each of these. Uh, this one sold for $17.99. A green cluster sold for $20. These all went to the same buyer. Uh, and as I was doing my research, and I actually did a, a let's play, you know, on Instagram, I said, well, let's see how much you think these sold for. And as it turns out, the Lucite grape clusters that are more smooth and rounded and have like a stem, those can sell for a lot more, more like $50 a cluster. So when people were making their guesses, I started second guessing myself thinking, oh, did I undersell on these? Uh, because they did sell pretty quickly. So I, I still think maybe I could have asked a little bit more for them, but I'm pretty happy with the sale because they, this person bought all of the clear ones, the green ones, the purple ones, everything I had, and it ended up being about $124 for all of the clusters that I had. <clears throat> so I have a lot of these clear ones up for $68. So that's something good to know. I have walked past those gray clusters. This is actually how I learned about it. This is why I say always leave comments and check the comment section because that's how I learned that I um, left behind an acrylic grape cluster at uh, Goodwill and everybody in the comments was yelling at me to, uh, that, I, that I left them behind so I will never forget that again. <laughs> Alright next up another set of these uh, nails sold for $25 and these are again some that I had you know if, if I ordered nails then I would earn points and then you could buy more nails etc etc so I had a bunch that I uh, bought using these points and I just decided to flip them because I don't really wear them anymore I'm trying to go back to au naturel with my nails. So next up, this pin sold. This is a Bennigan's pin, if you remember that restaurant, and it sold for $18. This was one, again, that was in that big lot of pins and buttons that I got for $25. 
So as you can see, parting these out, uh, it's, they've been really easy to photograph and list, and they've been selling you know, pretty steadily, so I'm pretty happy with that. This brooch sold, this is a, a, an enamel brooch that sold for $15. I have had this for a really long time, but I'm glad that it sold. So I, I know there were earrings that went with this as well, but I sold them separately. I'm just, it's one of those things you just like finally sold. I'm glad it's out of here. Probably paid a dollar or two for the earrings and brooch together whenever I bought them, however long ago that was. This is the Rolex book. So we went to the Rolex store down in the domain and when I was looking around and just for shits and giggles, you know, the, the guy was like, do you want to be put on our list for when we get some? And I was like, yes, I do. Let's put my name on the list. And when he put my name on the list, he gave me this book for free. And so it sold for $18. So I was pretty happy about that. Like I'm going to put my name on the, on the list to get a, a Rolex when they come in. I guess they're pretty hard to, to get new. And then this Arthur Court Fishbowl sold. I paid, I believe, 4 or $5 for this. And it was taking up quite a bit of space. And I had it listed for more. So if you're like, what? That's too cheap. I think I had it listed for 60 or $75. Uh, but I was ready to sell it. It sold for 45 And I was happy with that. Another pin back sold. This one sold for $5. This is a Fly Shamu. Again, I get comments like, you know, you're not making very much money on this. But if you look at the whole bulk of all the pins and buttons that I've sold, parting them out, I'm very happy. I mean, this was so, it's easy to ship. You just put it in a, a bubble little padded mailer and off it goes. And that just starts filling in my bank with four or five dollars here and there. I'm happy with it. Another one of our National Lampoons sold. This one sold for $20. These have been selling pretty steadily as well. And like I said, I still haven't gotten all of the comics and magazines listed. Uh, Juan's been taking pictures until his eyes are crossed. And I've been listing them until my eyes are crossed, but every now and then I have to switch and list something else other than comics. Cause same thing happened with the pins and pin backs. All right, this little toothpick holder sold. This is actually my intro uh, song video, whatever, when I bought it at a garage sale for I think 75 cents uh, or both of them. There were two of them for 75 cents and it sold for $18. It's really cute little, little toothpick holder. It was, and I've had it for maybe six months or more. This I just actually got in a free bunch of stuff. You know, we pick up freebies whenever people are saying, you know, curb alert, come and get all this stuff. Uh, and so this was in a free bunch of stuff that we got. And it's a, a Jeep. <laughs> I love it when my wife hasn't noticed I bought more Jeep parts or something like that. And it sold for $17. That sold, I think, on Facebook Marketplace. These are all kind of jumbled up. And then these are Signal magazines or little booklets, and they came with my Loot Crate for Firefly, which is was a television show, Serenity, Firefly, the movie. And so these came in those Loot Crates, and I ended up selling those for $20. It's a really good show, but it got canceled. It's worth watching. And then also another a solo uh, Signal magazine sold for $10. Basically, when I was searching to decide how to lot these up, you know, because I don't normally like to do lots, but some of them just weren't selling for so much, and others, like this one, sold for $10. So the ones that weren't really as desirable, I lotted together, and then the ones that were worth a little bit more, I put by themselves. So that's how I decided on that. Then another set of uh, nails sold. I actually bought a number of these because I liked that shape and that color, so I had a, a quite a few for myself just to have uh, but like I said I'm not wearing them anymore so I'm getting my money back on them by flipping them so that's $20 there I think they were like 17 or 15 when I bought them maybe 14 I can't remember anyway same deal on these uh, 20 bucks these I got using some of the the points or money back you know you spend so much you get so many dollars to spend uh, or if people order but they're pretty it's a good it, it's a good product I just wearing them all right so is that but what how, how you can take away from that what you can take away from this is you know if you see stuff like this out at a garage sale just keep an eye out because they can sell and these Doc Martens sold they were floral they were uh, canvas or fabric and I got them at Goodwill for I believe eight or nine dollars and they sold for ninety dollars they were adorable 
if they had been my size, I might have kept them, but they weren't. But I was pretty happy. Doc Martens, a, a brand that I personally like a lot, so I know to look for those. Then this sole, this is a little, I should have grabbed a different picture. It's a Sesame Street, vintage Sesame Street, uh, play school, house, uh, store. I got this for 5 or $6 at a garage sale, and it had almost all of the pieces. It was missing some of the characters, uh, but it, it was in really, really good shape. Uh, and it sold for $85, so keep, keep an eye out for that. My next sale was this napkin holder. It was a brass floral napkin holder, and I sold it for $50. And as you can see down there in my inventory note, it tells me when I listed it, which was March 22nd, and I bought it for $5. That's how I keep track of like how long things have been listed. So if you're ever looking through my listings and wondering like that kind of information, that's what my inventory, and it's no secret, that's what that is. All right, so this is my uh, calligraphy set, which I got at Goodwill for, I'm trying to read it, it's too tiny, eight bucks. And it's sold for $45. And it's been up for a few months, but I was willing to wait for the right buyer. It was a nice piece and it closed up and had a little latch to make it stay closed. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that profit on those items, on that item, I should say. This was in some patches and, um, keychains that we got at a garage sale just a few days ago or a few weekends ago anyway uh, and it's a crown royal keychain and it sold for ten dollars we got the whole shoe box that had patches and pins and keychains for a dollar so everything in there i just put 10 cents but it was probably less than that here's another free item that sold uh, a garage sale somebody was giving away all of these ipad covers and phone cases and while they aren't selling for a ton of money it's all profit because I didn't pay anything for them so they were really easy to list you know front back that's it 11 bucks I'm good to go I'm happy with that then this is a another item from the loot crate this is Malcolm Reynolds he's from the the show Firefly uh, Serenity and he sold for $16 and I still have more of these little figures and you know, I was collecting all of the Loot Crate stuff. They were just fun to get. And then I started realizing, what am I going to do with all this stuff? Because I don't display it. So I decided, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. So that's what happened. All right, next up, I had two of these cast iron uh, piggy banks, right? Of these flying pigs. I actually bought them when my kids were little bitty, thinking I was going to have them. I bought the first one before my, my first firstborn was born. And then I had a child and realized, I'm not going to put a cast iron piggy bank. They're going to bust their head open or they're going to pick it up and chuck it at their brother and bust their head open. So I'm <laughs> getting rid of these things. So it's over 36 bucks. And then another pair, uh, another set of nails sold for 16 Again, the information that you, you know, the takeaway is if you see these out when you're out and about, definitely pick them up because they can bring a pretty good profit uh, especially if they are ones that are retired and people are looking for them, ones that are more scarce. I mean, if, if you see them out there for a buck or two, snatch them up because here's another set. This one sold for $16. And yeah, I mean, they're fun. They're cute. Why not? Another patch sold. This was in that shoebox of patches that we got the um, Crown Royal keychain in. And this sold for $12.99. And the box had like pin backs that were like Catholic related, keychains, there were Harley patches, which is really what we grabbed it for uh, because we saw a bunch of Harley patches in there. And then this was the American Kennel Club patch, so sold for $12.99. This was in there as well. This is another Harley patch that sold for $15. And we saw the box. We, I, you know, I really didn't even dig through it. I just saw the Harley patches and I said, you know, how much for the whole box? Guy said a dollar, two dollars, it was a dollar anyway. Uh, and then we got it home and just listed everything. It was super easy and been making money on all those patches and pinbacks. Here's the other one that sold. They sold pretty quick, so maybe I didn't sell them for enough. Again, if you haven't had kids, and then you're, you know, before I had kids, I, I thought some very differently about like, oh, it's going to be so cute in their room. And then I realized, no, this is like a, this is a hazard. <laughs> It's gonna, they're going to bust their head open on this thing. Yeah, very, very heavy cast metal piggy bank pig. 
this was also in that shoe box that had the the other Harley patches and stuff. So you can see they've sold pretty quickly. Uh, this is a rural U.S. mail carrier patch, and it sold for fifteen dollars. We've been really doing really well with patches lately, and we actually found another big bunch of patches this past weekend that we just took a bunch of pictures of to list. So, yeah, they're and they're so easy to store and ship and everything. I love it. Uh, this is one of those phone cases that was free at that garage sale. They've been selling pretty steadily, so 10 bucks on that. And again, I mentioned it before, I don't mind smaller sales. I don't mind getting, you know, I love the big sales, of course, but these smaller sales, these bread and butter sales are really what uh, make the income go up. You know, it's, it's the mortar. I say the big sales are the bricks. And the little sales are that mortar that holds it all together because it can't, I mean, I would love to get all bricks, but it just doesn't happen that way. These are from a lot of comics that a friend of mine gave me a couple years ago that still have been selling on steadily. Uh, these sold for $12.50. These are Warlock uh, comic books, and so it was all profit for me. These Halo Jones comics were in the lot that, that Juan and I picked up for $60, $65 bucks of all the comics and magazines. And again, I don't normally like to lot things up, but, but doing my research, it seemed like they were gonna sell better as a lot because individually they weren't selling for that much. So I was happy to lot them. Then I got this red Italian alabaster marble, whatever, heart paperweight in a bag at Savers. And it also had some Easter eggs that were, you know, amethyst and different gemstone, like, stones, you know. And so this sold for $13. I believe I got the bag for $3 with all the stuff in it. And I, I don't think I've, I'm not sure if I've sold any of the eggs yet. Then this is a little Star Wars set that sold for $25. I like to go down the clearance aisle at Target, or usually it's on the end caps. And when I find Lego there, I like to buy it up. Because, especially when they go, uh, when they are retired, the, the sky, I can't talk today, y'all. The prices can skyrocket on some of these things um, when they become retired. And point, case in point is here is my Lego Wally that I bought new. I bought two or three of these new for $60. And uh, they now that they're retired, they're very desirable. And... I have gotten lots of offers to take lower amounts on this, but I knew I could. But my right buyer was going to show up, and it sold for three hundred fifty dollars. My other one also sold for three hundred fifty dollars, so I was waiting, and I got it. Then these, I can't remember where I got these. They're Harry Potter stamps. I feel like somebody gave them to me, and they sold for eleven dollars. I was going through all my my collections of stuff just kind of weeding out like I had all that firefly stuff loot crate stuff just geek stuff and lots of harry potter i kept some of my harry potter stuff but i just had so much i had to start i had to start getting rid of some of it this is a marble roll button again that was in the lot of of buttons that i got for 25 dollars, and this sold for nine dollars so as you can see over the course of the week all the different pins and buttons and badges and patches selling have really brought in, you know, it really makes the total amount by the end of the week ratchet up a lot. And then here's another freebie, sold for $7, this uh, phone case. Uh, Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can get an idea of what kind of things have been selling for us over here. Again, we are selling some things locally, but I maybe I should start sharing some of those sales as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go down there and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, everyone.